Hello friends, welcome to Abhilaw, where law is simplified. This is your professor, Dr. Ambarish Aj Patnigiri. And in the last lecture, we discussed on the background of the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973, the nature of the code, the introduction part, as well as we studied chapter 1, section 1. In this video lecture, we are going to do with the section 2 of chapter 1 of the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973. Now, I want to tell you section 2 deals with the definition. Many students don't read the definition at all, but definitions are very, very important. Another logic is, you should remember when you are studying for the exam, definitions are always written in alphabetical order in maximum act. Okay, so whenever you want to go for the definition and the clause, you can go through the alphabetical order and you can find it out. So today we are going to deal with important definitions. But before that, I want to tell you there are total 26 definitions in section 2. So we are not going to study 26 definitions, but we are going to study important definitions. One of the important definitions with the university keeps on asking is differentiate between billable offense and non billable offense. This is the question which we are going to study when we are going to discuss the definition part of billable offense and non billable offense. Let us come to the word billable offense. Now, how to study it? Number one, we should know first what is an offense. Now, you might have heard offense right from the Indian Penal Code time. But Indian Penal Code doesn't define what is an offense. Now, offense is defined under section 2N of the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973. Now, what is an offense? Offense means an act or omission which is made punishable under the law, which is in time being in force. Now, time being in force is important to note that when that act was committed, whether that act was applicable, that is basically what it says time being in force. If that act was not applicable, then that act would have will not be considered as an offense. I hope so. What I want to say, I have made it very, very clear. Once we understand offense, now let us come to another word called bail. Bail is nothing but, you have heard this bail so many times. And what is bail? Bail is nothing but releasing someone from the legal custody is bail. These two words I have explained you. Now let us come to the bailable offense and non bailable offense. As we know, it is starting with B. So, section 2 clause A deals the definition of bailable offense and non bailable offense. What do you mean by bailable offense? Bailable offense means an offense which is shown as bailable in the first schedule column number 5 which is made bailable by any other law for the time being in force. This is what is the definition of bailable offense. And what is the definition of non bailable offense? Non bailable offense means any offense which is not bailable. Section 2A CRPC tells this definition. With this board definition, we can see that you go to schedule number 1, column number 5. When we go through the offenses, different offenses, you will find column 5 keeps on saying whether this offense is bailable or non bailable. Bailable or non bailable. Now, how basically the legislature has categorized the offense, whether it is bailable or non bailable. Those offenses which are generally regarded less grave and serious are bailable offense. But those offenses which are grave and serious are non bailable offense. In bailable offense, the bail is a matter of right and the bail can be granted by the officer in charge of the police station. But in non bailable offense, bail is not the matter of right, it is the discretionary power of the court. One more differentiation is bailable offense examples are voluntarily causing hurt. It is a bailable offense. Non bailable offense examples are murder, rape, theft, etc. With this, I hope so, I have explained you what is bailable offense and non bailable offense. If you like this video, please like it, please share, please subscribe, put your valuable comments on the email ID shown. Thank you.